All right, so as you may have heard, there's been some controversy surrounding the WNBA. The New York Liberty, they were fined for chartering flights to road games during the first half of the 2021 WNBA season, as well as other league rule violations. That includes an unsanctioned team trip to Napa, a league source confirmed to ESPN. So here's what four-time All-Star Liz Cambage had to say on the subject last week on NBA Today. It's hard when you have the best league in the world, but we're not treated like the best athletes in the world. Um, you know, I, I pay to upgrade myself. That's one mm -hmm. part of the CBA that I can't stand is that I, my team, my club can't look after me and put me in first. I personally don't even fly myself economy. I haven't seen the back of a plane since the WBA <laughs> season was over. I don't fit back there. So the, so the fact that I have to pay yeah. to upgrade mm -hmm. my flight to get to work and perform, it's crazy to me, but, you know, we got owners in the league that want to do so much more for us, but they can't. So Liz came on our show before this news came to light, but WNBA players, they took to Twitter and had this to say. So you can see Sabrina Ionescu tweeted, what a joke. And then you can also see Liz Cambage had a reaction as well. Now, Ramona Shelburne has been completely locked in on the story and she is joining me now. So Ramona, what more can you tell us about why exactly the Liberty were fined? Well, I mean, you hear Liz and it, she makes a lot of sense, right? She's six foot eight. She doesn't want to sit in the back of the plane. Sure. Uh, those seats aren't comfortable for even us short people, okay? Like, there's, she, it doesn't fit for her. So why is, the, why is this a standard in the WNBA? Yes. One, they fly commercial. And two, they, they sit in coach or economy plus unless they want to pay for themselves to be upgraded first. Now, Joe Sai, who is the owner of the Brooklyn Nets and the New York Liberty, has very publicly been advocating for the league to get chartered flight service just like they have in the NBA. That costs about $30 million a year for the entire league to do that. Mm. Some of the owners in the, in the league can afford that. Some cannot. And so this is collectively bargained as part of the CBA and the WNBA that they can't just have one franchise do this or two franchises do this because it would create a huge competitive disadvantage or competitive advantage for the t franchises that are flying their pl right. players on charter. And disadvantage for those two. For the others. Are. And so when the Liberty did this last year, um, it was on the down low, but of course word gets around. Sure. People talk. Sabrina Ionescu did a TikTok that kind of got around when they were in Napa saying like, does your owner do this for you? Mm. Um, and a lot of other owners in the league were very upset about this because the sense is you can't do this for your players if it's not being done for everyone. Now, Josai has worked on this with a lot of private airlines, um, so Delta, United, every, every company that would charter, um, that does charter flights in the NBA, they've all, they've all been approached in, to try to set this up for the WNBA, but who's going to pay for it? Right. Is it going to come from the league? Will it come from individual owners? Um, Thus far, it has not been worked out. But Kathy Engelbert, the commissioner, has tried has tried to make this happen as well. I think they're still going to work towards it to get there, but they aren't there yet. And so, when the Liberty went rogue, right, then that's why you happened. see it. Fine. And it it. It is collectively bargained. Yep. I understand that on, in some ways this is an issue of fairness, what one should have, all should mm -hmm. have. But there seems to be a need to find a way to make it so the professional athletes, it affects their play. That's right. It, this isn't something out of vanity. This is something out yeah. of being able to have your body perform at the highest level. There, there has to be something. Yeah, you're in a playoff game and you're, you're going through commercial air flights where you have stopovers, you have, you have th th teams that are on three different planes trying to get right. to the same place, o cancellations. Only, only sports writers should have to deal with those sorts of things, <laughs> not <laughs> the athletes. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.